Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Tylene Dreaming Love Letters from Retirement. So I really hope everyone enjoys this uh, video as much as I enjoyed this place. A really fantastic place. Spectacular scenery. Albeit raining most of the time I was there and very misty, hard to get good shots, but uh, I tried my best. I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll also leave the link to the Facebook page of where I stayed under the video in the description. And uh, yeah, so please enjoy. So I've uh, come to this place before I go home and it's called the Lotus Lake. And apparently you can get a boat ride and go around the Lotus Lake and um, check out all the lotuses flowering. I believe they start opening up around 8 o'clock, 8.30 or something like that. But they're not doing the boat rides because the water's up too high. I don't quite understand that. But um, yeah, so there's lots of fish in there. There are some lotuses. I'll see if I can zoom in on one. They're an absolutely gorgeous colour. Yeah, it's just pretty. It's pretty here. I'm going to go back up on the top of the mountain and put the drown up, drone up. I'm uh, desperately trying to beat the rain. Uh, I've got a new friend. Hello. Uh, another new friend. Yeah, so... Um, there's not too many uh, lotus flowering. Uh, I assume it goes all the way out through the reeds over here it looks like there are boat pathways through it interesting look and there's a little bird's nest a little bird's nest and they've got this little funnel they enter into yeah so a nice place Plenty of fish in here. He's a hunter. He's looking to catch a fish. Yeah, so I'm going to head back up in the top of the mountain and get the drone up anyway. I want to get. Up on the mountain. Managed to get the drone up before the rain came. It's threatening. I want to get back to my room before it comes. I don't want to get saturated like I did yesterday. Look at this magnificent place. It's just awesome here. I'm coming back here again. It is fantastic. She's doing okay. She needs some work. Got a couple of little problems. But we'll get that fixed. Nothing a good mechanic can't fix. Yeah, so. An awesome place. I love it here. I love it here. As well as the uh, beautiful beaches and uh, island uh, hopping you can do here in the surrounding Gal Samproy Yacht National Park has some absolutely stunning viewing. Uh, some good uh, climbs. There's a lot of caves. The main cave I wanted to visit uh, wasn't open because of the rain. It was deemed too slippery and dangerous to climb up there. I believe it's two kilometres up and two kilometres back. So maybe I wasn't fit enough to do that anyway. So uh, yeah, it might have been fortuitous that I didn't get to actually see that place. So, but uh, look at this, it's, it is just uh, stunning. Worth the trip just for the views. Country, country by the sea. What a place, what a place.
Uh, as many of you who know me uh, know that uh, I lived uh, in Lombok for many, many, many years, this particular area really reminds me so much of Lombok and, and I assume that some of you have been there and you'll see the likeness here is just absolutely almost like the same place. Limestone Hip Mountains, just awesome, absolutely awesome. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy being in this place. I'm definitely going to come back here, definitely. One of the prettiest places I've been in Thailand, it really is. Let's hope the doggy doesn't want to chase me. I don't think so. I think he's more concerned with sleeping on the side of the road. Hello. Oh, I've got a whole gang of dogs down here. The dogs scare the crap out of me here, I'm telling you. Just let me uh, speed on up a little. No, it looks like they're disinterested altogether, which is fantastic. It's just a pain in the ass when they chase you. like an indoctrination uh, vaccination station <laughs> whoops <laughs> back before the rain catches me. Mangoes, mangoes, mangoes. Nice little bungalow. you can stop you can you know the, the beach road here is very 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 long there's a lot of restaurants a lot of uh, little resorts and uh, homestays there's even uh, you know huge homes that you can actually rent there that you can fit whole families in it really it does have everything this place it absolutely has and the food the food is fantastic there's so many good restaurants and uh, eateries there that uh, you know Thai food and uh, Western food and it's really good quality and fairly reasonably priced as well so all in all you can have a really good economic uh, trip little getaway down here for a day or two uh, you know my hotel cost me um, 14 bucks 14 dollars Australian a night you know it was a basic room but you know it had Everything you need, aircon, lights, of course, TV, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, hot water. So, yeah, even when it was cold, when I get saturated in the rain, I could come back and just have a really nice hot shower and relax and then go and have absolutely beautiful food in the uh, Blue Beach Hotel restaurant. Uh, I believe it is so popular there when it's... Uh, when it's the season and there's a lot of tourists around you actually have to book to get in there and have a feed uh, yeah so that's the end of this little uh, episode and uh, I really really can't express how much I enjoy, enjoyed this getaway I or actually I really needed it so that was probably part of the reason but I think you can see what a beautiful place it is and uh, uh, how you can just uh, really enjoy yourself there and really relax 
You got all, all the activities, there's kayaks, there's trips out to that island there, which is called Monkey Island. But as you all know, I don't particularly like monkeys. I'm not extremely fond of them. Uh, myself and a few others here call them tree rats, you know. So, yeah, I didn't go out there. Uh, and, and I think you need a few more people to get a boat going out there, otherwise it's cost prohibitive. Yeah, so there it is, Dolphin Bay, and uh, I thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank all those uh, people that are newly subscribed to the channel. It's really helpful for me. Um, please, if you like the videos, share the videos around, like the videos, all helps with the algorithms and helps me build the channel and, and get stronger and stronger. And hopefully I'm getting a little bit better with the photography. Um, I'm starting to become a little more accustomed with using the drone, even though I haven't been using it much. So, ciao for now.